This is Zephyr OS based on Android 12 and in today's video, we'll see how this ROM is performing with Redmi Note 10 Pro. I'm actually impressed with the overall performance of this ROM and I'm sure you'll enjoy using it in your device. And I have updated this ROM recently, so this is version 12.7.0 which came with some good improvements over the previous version which was 12.6.0. And regarding the update, I updated from 12.6 to 12.7 through ADB sideload because of the F2FS compression issues with the official TWRP. And you can also use the unofficial TWRP recovery to avoid these issues. It is actually recommended by the developers. So if you are okay with that, you can go ahead with the unofficial TWRP. And they have also included updater in this latest version. So let's see how it holds up in the upcoming updates. Now coming to the overall UI, you will get all the Android 12 features like you see in other Android 12 custom ROMs. And if you go to wallpaper and style, you will get some additional wallpapers as well, which is an added bonus. And one thing to note here is that the overall UI in the main settings is different from other custom ROMs like Cherish OS or Evolution X because you won't get any separate section for customization like Cherish settings with Cherish OS or Evolver with Evolution X. So it might take some time to get used to these settings here because you will have to search and find every option here. Now the most important feature you get with Zephyr OS is the ANX camera so you don't have to flash it separately. It works fine but as you would expect, slow motion is still an issue here. The camera application will automatically freeze when you try to use this slow motion here, but other modes in ANX camera are working fine. And in the previous version of Zephyr OS, Dolby Atmos was present, but it has been removed with this latest version. But you still get this MI sound enhancer which will uh, do just fine. And under these sound options, you also get this clear speaker, the pulse option and this haptic feedback changer. And other options are more or less similar to other Android 12 custom ROMs. And I just wanted to show you guys the display settings because most of the customization features are present under these settings. And you get the normal settings related to brightness and the lock screen or the dark theme. And you can also make the screen extra dim to reduce the brightness further. Now the customization settings like changing the device font or the icon packs like Akira's, Oxygen OS, Outline or Pixel UI are present as well. And you can also choose a refresh rate option to automatic which will change the refresh rate from 60 to 120Hz automatically. Or you can also force 120Hz if you want a continuous 120Hz refresh rate in your phone. Double tap to wake and sleep are present as well and they are working fine. So that was pretty much all about the display settings. Now let's take a look at the battery settings or the battery backup. Version 12.6 had a better battery backup compared to version 12.7 and I used to get like 6 to 7 hours or sometimes 8 hours of screen on time. But with this latest update which is 12.7 battery backup is less and you should get a screen on time of 5 or 6 hours and the idle battery drain is more in 12.7.0. Now when it comes to charging it might take a longer to charge the battery from 0 to 100% compared to other custom ROMs like Cherish OS or Evolution X. I tested like 4 or 5 times and it took around 1 hour and 45 minutes to completely charge the battery from 0 to 100% using the original charger. So you can keep a note of that as well. And if you talk about gestures and extras, you get some really good features here like quick double tap on the back of your phone to take a screenshot or various other quick tap actions as well. And you also get these camera gestures, one handed navigation, power button gestures and under system gestures, you have the normal gesture options which you see in other under 12 custom ROMs. And all these gestures are working fine. Zephyr OS also supports Widevine L1 so playing HD content should not be an issue here and this ROM also passes the safety net test so banking applications will work absolutely fine. And fingerprint sensor and the face unlock are pretty fast as well and you should not face any issue with all that. Now the last feature I wanted to talk about is the gaming performance. So as you know that Battlegrounds Mobile India is banned again so I tested Call of Duty and you get medium graphics with Ultra FPS and Ultra FPS option will not work with high or very high graphics. Gameplay is mostly good and the frame rate varies between 80 to 120 which is, which is pretty decent here. And I also tested Alto's Odyssey and the frame rate had similar results here as well. It varies between 80 to 120. Overall I would say that the gaming performance is pretty good with Zephyr OS and the higher FPS is an added bonus here. So that was pretty much all about Zephyr OS and its performance in Redmi Note 10 Pro. And I have been using this ROM for quite some time now and I would definitely consider it one of the best custom ROMs for Redmi Note 10 Pro right now. And if you want a stable custom ROM with a good battery life and a great performance, you can definitely consider flashing it in your Redmi Note 10 Pro and I'm pretty sure that you are going to love this. And if you have any questions related to this ROM, you can drop a comment and I will try my best to answer your queries. And if this is your first time on this channel, do consider giving your thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as well, that would be really helpful. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you soon in my next video.